Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody wants to put half inch circles on like a border on a frame of this that has half inch radiuses. And he wants to know how to figure out how many to do because he you know, just keeps guessing and it's getting closer and closer. We well, can do it with math. If we go to, well, this is, first of all, you have, if this is a rectangle, you have to convert it to a curve, which it already is. Click on it, go to Windows, Dockers, and Properties. And since it's a curve, it'll come up this line right here. And we've got 66.14. So basically 66. And you could tweak it a little bit. So I'm going to draw an ellipse that is a half an inch. I'm going to make a duplicate of that guy. And I'm going to move it over. Now, we're going to go to effects and blend. And I've already done it. So the, the math is 130. We need 132 to get to that magical number, but we've already got to, and whenever Creel says uh, copies, and it doesn't really say, but I'm gonna blend it 130 times in between those two, and I'm gonna hit apply. Then I'm gonna go down here to blend a new path, and it's close, but let's go blend along full path. And if you look, going around the corners, it's a little bit off. You can see that these are kind of over a little bit. But if you adjust it, you might lose the whole thing. So let's just try it. Let's, uh, this is still a blend. It's not a, not on the path yet. Whoop. Tell you what, let's just back up to where we have the original. And let's make this just a smart, smaller. Well, or smart, a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go 66. Or 99.65. And now if we look at our length, I don't remember what it was, but if we go to Windows, Dockers, and Properties, now we're at uh, 6617. So we're a little bit larger. Now we can go here and grab it and blend along full path. And then, excuse me, blend to that path and blend, blend along full path. And we're really, really almost dead on. We've still got enough meat on the table there. Now that's gonna, that's gonna, well, it's just gonna work. It's gonna be close enough. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to object and break the blend apart. And I'm gonna try to grab my path. And now I'm gonna select all these. And I am gonna, I could weld it right now, but I get in the custom of going to effects group and ungroup them all because they were a blend before and now weld it and see we got a little bit of a gap there from the overkill but he wants to fill it in with black if you just grab them all and left click I don't know that anybody's going to see that because it's so close I mean we're I see a little dot, but that's just from the, it's selected. And that could work with any size circle or any size, a circle would be the easiest. Let's do a circle. Uh, let's make an ellipse. I don't know why I keep shutting down that window. Let's go to Docker's uh, properties. Now, I'm gonna, I did it on purpose. There's no length here. So I need to go to object and convert that to a curve. And as soon as I do that, I get my curve. Now that is 46.12. Let's make it 46 perfect. So let's go like 99.6, 99.65. And we're at, let's go a little further, 99.66. Wow. And see, it's rounding it up, but it's still that number, 99.68. We're at 45.99. We could go a little bit more, but we're not going to. So we got 45 inches. If we take a, let's make it easy and make a one inch so, uh, ellipse. Make two of them, control D and make a duplicate. Grab them both. And we need 143 because we already have two. Hit apply. 
go to new path, put it on the path, rotate along full path. It's a, it's a, a lip, so you don't have to rotate the object. Oh, oh, I put, sorry, I put 143. Uh, it just needs to be 43. Hit apply, new path, hit the path, blend along full path, and look how, if the, well, they're a little bit short all the way around. So two things we could do. If you needed a one inch circle, you'd want to do that. So this is a little bit big. So let's make it, no, oh, okay, it's actually 46. We're at nine, nine, my bad. So grab these, so go 44. Hit apply, hit the path, do path, blend along full path, and hit apply. So it's all about math, and this will weld perfectly. I would select it all, if you're going to weld it, go up to object and break the blend apart, and then you could grab, if you grab the line, it's going to give you this big box around, and then take all these, and, and see what I'm talking about? This is the blend and that is the first two. So you could either do two things, go to object. Well, if you grab just the blend, you could do it, but we're gonna ungroup all. And now every piece is individual and then just select it and weld it. If you're gonna weld it, you probably wouldn't have to. On Whoa, we're actually, well that, you know, so we could take this and then fill it in with black if you want black or, or blue or whatever color you want. But nobody's going to know the difference that those are, well, they got an outline. Let's take away the outline. And now we've still got an outline. You know what we could do since it was welded? The smartest thing to do is take your smart fill tool. Let's use that orange. And then when you move that away, the outline will stay. And if you look at this close up, those look like they're just perfectly touching. So let Corel help you with the math on your lengths of stuff. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a line or a curved line, you know, or a rectangle or square. Uh, square would probably be easier, but I don't know, you know, about getting the circles matched up. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.